Hello, it's Mark from Embedded Pro, and I have this new debug probe to show you today. It's the MCU Link Pro from NXP, and you'll find it in the component e-tailer stores for around 40 US dollars. In the current chip supply situation, I know that some hobbyist and evaluation boards are shipping without fitting the embedded debug probe, like the OpenSDA probes on NXP boards. So, you may be forced to buy an external probe, such as an MCU Link Pro, or the earlier MCU Link, or an LPC Link 2, shown here, to use with your new board. In this video, I'll show you what you get for your money. Inside the box, you'll find a bag containing the MCU Link Pro, a second bag with a variety of cables and jumpers, and a printed insert with an overview of the board. If we look more closely at the MCU Link Pro, you'll see that it is larger than the previous MCU Link. It also has a helpful silk screen on the underside of the PCB with all the headers and connectors identified and documented. There's a connector for a 10-way serial wire debug ribbon cable and a footprint for a through-hole 20-way cable. The probe is supported by Linux, Windows 10 and Mac OS hosts. And one of the cool new features of the MC-Link Pro is that it supports both Simpsys DAP and add support for J-Link Lite. This makes it compatible with many more different development environments. The MCU Link Pro is compatible with MCU Expresso IDE, but some of the advanced features that I'll show you later require MCU Expresso IDE version 11.4.1 or later. My probe arrived with an older version of the firmware installed, so I used the MCU Link Pro user manual which you can download from nxp.com, to put the board into firmware update mode. And then I got the latest firmware from the same page and updated to revision 2.245 with the Windows installer. It really is as simple as disconnecting the board from USB and then inserting the supplied jumper onto header J4. The silkscreen legend on the underside reads FW update, firmware update. Now, when I connect the board via USB, Windows installs the necessary driver and I can run the script program Simpsys command, which I find in the slash scripts folder, and I run that as an administrator. I now put the MCU Link Pro back into default mode. I simply remove the jumper on J4 and repower the probe. Here's my target board. I'm going to use the LPC 55S16 EVK and I'm choosing to power this board from the MCU Link Pro. I can do this by inserting the jumper onto header J6. It's labeled short J6 to power target. And then lastly, let me connect the 10-way serial wire debug ribbon cable from the MCU Link Pro to my LPC 55S16 evaluation kit. Here they are, both boards connected together. Now switching to MCU Expresso IDE version 11.4.1, .1, and I have the LED Blinky project open from the LPC Expresso 55S16 SDK. It's compiled already, so let me start a debug session. That's quick start, debug. MCU Expresso IDE makes a probe discovery and it detects the MCU Link Pro and then proceeds to flash the target. This probe discovery is where I would see an older version of the firmware on the probe if MCU Expresso detects the probe is running an older version of the firmware. So here I am in main 
and I can run my code using resume F8 in the debugger and code execution starts. Of course, with this application, the LED is now blinking on the board. Well, that's a very quick introduction to the MCU Link Pro. And there are two really cool features of this probe that I'll show you in the next videos. The virtual COM to UART bridge and the energy measurement feature. Don't forget to share and like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'll see you soon. Goodbye.